Hi, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on uh, Google Chrome uh, bookmarks. So what that is, is let's say that I'm in this site and I um, want to save it for the future. And how am I going to remember the name of this site? So what you can do is you can save bookmarks within Google Chrome and you can even make folders and categorize them. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. I'm going to use the quick keys. Control D brings up this box here saying bookmark added. And you'll see that it says Google Chrome info here. Well, that's not where I want the gluten-free food list to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on edit and that brings up this bar. And I, if I wanted to um, look first to see if I already had a gluten-free tab, I can scroll up and down. And that's the beauty of having these folders because you can categorize and create folders. So I don't have a gluten-free tab right now. So I'm going to click on the bookmark bar. And the reason that I want to do that is if I'm clicked on director information and I do uh, create a new folder, that folder is going to go within this director information. So not only can you create folders running down your bookmark bar, but you can create folders within your folders. So I'm just going to click on the bookmark bar and then I'm going to say new folder and I'm going to type gluten free. And then I say save. And now that post is there. So let's say that I wanted to um, uh, uh, save another uh, tab. I could do a control T to open up myself another tab. And I'm going to say gluten free recipes. So I'll click on allrecipes.com and that's going to take me to um, this gluten-free recipes, all recipes page. And if this is one that I want to save after I've reviewed it, then I do the same thing again. I do a control D and you'll see now because gluten-free was the last tab that I had created that gluten-free is there. So I just say done because my bookmark is saved. And now I have two tabs open. I have the previous one, the food list, and the one that I just found. So if I do a control tab, I can toggle in between the two tabs that I have open. And so now let's say that I have done several searches for gluten-free and maybe I saved 10 tabs within the bookmark manager. So what I want to do is I want to use control shift O and that brings up the bookmark manager, which lists all of the folders that I have within the bookmark manager. So I can organize these folders by saying reorder title. Now I'm just going to show you, I should have pointed that out first. Down here, you'll see, glut see gluten-free. It's not in alphabetical order. The last bookmark that you save is always going to be on the bottom. So instead of having to read through all of your bookmarks, you'll want to organize them by title. So you click on the organize and reorder. And now gluten-free is alphabetically cool so that I could find it easily. And not only can you uh, organize your folders gluten in under bookmarks in alphabetical order. If I click on gluten-free, you'll see that I have these two items. I can or also organize my sites alphabetically as well. So that's really handy. Now I'm not going to save this folder because I didn't look at these um, sites to truly know whether I wanted them. So if you have a folder and you find that you're just not using it and you want to get rid of it, click on the folder, right click, and then you can um, uh, delete that folder. So I'm just going to delete it. So now it's gone. Okay. So the other thing that's handy for a quick key is closing the current tab. So if I do control W, I close out that bookmark. I can close out this control W and I'm left just with this screen. Now I will link um, the quick keys for Google Chrome in the description of my video. And I hope that this helps uh, someone. And if you want any more uh, information regarding using the bookmarks tab in Google Chrome, leave a comment and I'll maybe do a tutorial for you. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a great day. I hope this helps you.